Ow. Closed. Just started playing Battle Block Theater. Well, let me know how it is. I haven't picked it up yet. I hear, obviously, great things. I mean, Beamoth doesn't really I'd have to make, my way up this mine shaft make terrible games. Beamoth. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. For the most part. Not necessarily my kind of games. At least I wasn't a huge fan of Castle Crashers. It was kind of boring. I'm surprised you made that. Fine, don't fall over. <laughs> mm, it's supposed to go that way. It, it, I figured I would need to go up to get to the peak outlook, lookout, whatever. But it didn't really look like that's where it was directing me. This is where I'm supposed to be going, so let's see what's up at the top of that coal shaft. 
core mine shaft, mine shaft thingy. I think after this episode, I'll probably call it a night. I'm sorry that the Saturday cast was shorter than usual, but it seems like if I were to pick up the next episode, it would probably last until much later than I'm hoping to go to bed tonight. So I can either end it early or end it super late. <laughs> But on the plus side, uh, if either Chitara or VR is interested in streaming after this, that could be fun. We could all make our way over there. Ow. You know, if you really wanted to fuck me over, you'd knock over those trees. Um. Shit. Probably just should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Could have been me. Damn it. What is this, a carnival game? <laughs> there we go.
Jerks! Pretty shitty timing for spawn. I'm I'm in the light. Why are you throwing knives at me? You're supposed to fucking go away. Assholes. Bridge is wobbling like that, you might want to run instead of walk. stuff. Let's go get stuff. Stuff's this way. There's stuff. Closed, if you're still listening. I finished Hyoka this morning. And, uh... I'm so mad at the main character! Towards the, the last few episodes, um... He kept... It kept doing this thing where he was sort of like... He was playing out scenes in his head of what it would be like if he wasn't afraid to tell the main female character how he felt about her. And so it would show like them having a conversation and then the conver and then it would be like, you know, him saying, you know, this wonderful thing, you know, and and laying laying it all out on the line about how he felt. Um, to her and her being super happy and then it would cut back to like right before that conver or that part of the conversation happened and he'd just be standing there like oh uh, great weather huh and 
So, uh, <laughs> at the very end, the last episode, it's not really a spoiler. I mean, this show's a bunch of non sequiturs, kind of, anyway. But at the end of the last episode, um, the, um, the girl, um, she sort of just lays it out on the line about how like you know I she essentially is like you know I'm I'll be completely honest uh, I, I'm planning on staying here my entire life because I have a responsibility as you know a daughter of a very old family that is very well respected in this small town like I'm gonna be here my whole life and there's not a lot uh, that I have to offer to somebody who wants to spend their life with me but if being with me is enough and the few things that I have I'd be really happy if you wanted to be that person and you're just like oh and then that's like he doesn't say anything and he just goes home and uh, I was screaming I was screaming at my TV What's what's pretty cool closed? It was that if you've ever seen the movie High Fidelity, the thing that John Cusack's character every now and then did, where he would, you know, it would like the movie would progress like normal. And then it would cut back to the beginning of a conversation uh, and it would show that he was actually just fantasizing about how great would it be if I had done this or said this. Um, they did that. Yeah. I might look around and see if there's any more to that, like a manga or an OVA or something. Maybe I'll be lucky and they continue the story and uh, it doesn't end on that. Because, man, <laughs> I've. I. I. I was. I was frustrated.
could see Cauldron Lake, I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Not like that, closed. I was actually expecting Champ to make that joke, so I don't know if you want to feel bad or not. It's up to you. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Like I said, um, this is going to be it for me tonight. It's uh, 12.40, and we're halfway through the game. I might... I think I might play something else tomorrow. 
And then, uh, since we did half of it this Saturday, we'll do the other half next Saturday. Um, and maybe tomorrow I'll play something or some things like nice, fun, basic games. Like Spelunky or something. I don't know. FTL. I don't know. Think about it. It's 1240, 12.40 right now, and I started around 8.40 or so. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, we're right around halfway, because it's like 13 hours to beat the game. So... Unlike Pandora's Tower, Alan Wake is a digital copy, so if there are any game-breaking glitches, I should hope that they would have patched them by now. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Well. Um. Like I said. We're done for the night. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. If uh, VR is going to stream something. Then I guess that's cool. And I'll see you guys there. Later.